Good evening. The coaching dramas at Alberton have taken a huge turn this afternoon with Matthew Primus quitting the club. Tom Wren has been following the story. Tom, what's the latest? Well, Kate, it's been an absolutely incredible 24 hours for the power. Now, no one at Port is answering their phones, but it seems Matthew Primus has quit effective immediately. Assistant coach Sean Wren is tipped to coach out this season. Now, this story really started yesterday with that humiliating loss to Greater West in Sydney, and that's led to today's events. Matthew Primus being told he won't be coach next season. The calm before the storm, but an air of grimness at Alberton this morning where skipper Dom Cassisi backed his coach to remain in charge. As a playing group, we're 100% behind Maddie. Um, like I said, there's no quick fix, you know, we just we need, we need to stick together and grind it out. As recently as last night, Primus was vowing to keep his job. We started the process a while ago now of rebuilding this club and uh, at the moment it's the last point it's ever been. But Port's board ran out of patience after the humiliating loss to the Giants. And Primus may not be the only casualty, with the club poised to conduct a soul-searching review of its operations after five miserable seasons without finals football. Travis Boat could also second-guess his decision to remain at Alberton. Former power champ Chad Corn says he fears for the club's future. I do. Well, after the sign went and I saw the looks on, on the boys' faces, um, it wasn't a really good feeling. I don't know Brogues and Choco sort of felt the same way. No, I actually felt um, a little bit sorry for, for the Port boys. Sean Wren's poised to coach out this season as the club begins an exhaustive search for its fourth coach in three years.